Today I am in Fort Lauderdale one day before a cruise and I am staying in the Holiday Inn Express and Suites, Fort Lauderdale Airport slash cruise. I am staying in a king bed room. So let's take an opportunity and do a room review. Starting off from the front door, as we go to the left, the first thing is the bathroom area. It is a nice size sink that they provide in this room. Small toilet. We do have a shower only, so it's not a shower and bath in this room. And they provide you with gels such as shower, gel, conditioner, and also shampoo. We're leaving the bathroom. There's a mirror to the right. To the left, we will see that there is a fridge. They have a Keurig with some cups and the container for the ice. And above that, we have the microwave. Going now into the bedroom area, the first thing we come upon to the right is the closet. So this is the only closet in this room. And depending on how long you have to stay, I think it may be ample enough space for you. It does also have down at the bottom a safe. This is where you will find your ironing board and you will find your iron. And they provide a few hangers for you. To the left the bed now this is a nice size bed king size bed to the left you will have your telephone a lamp to the left a little place for storage to the right of the bed another place for storage your clock and also another lamp above that to the right just some place for for you to put your, your storage, you could put your bags up here, this place right here. Going forward, we will see to the left. Now I love this. I love that they have this chase in this room. So because of the size of this bed, technically, if you really want to have a few people in this room, you could have probably up to three people comfortably to in this king size bed and one person on this chase to spend a night or so. Remember I said that this is the hotel I'm spending one night before a cruise. So if you have a cruise and you would like to just put a few people in here, you can do so. Um, here is some more drawers for storage. Here is the television screen. And here is your desk with a chair a nice lamp on top of the desk and and right next to the chase is a little table for you to use as well so i truly like this room being one day before a cruise i think it's good space i think that it's a place that i would recommend somebody coming to one thing about it is hotel also they do provide a shuttle from the airport free of charge so it will save you some money instead of going through uber or lyft or one of the ride sharing services if you are doing a cruise they do offer a shuttle to the cruise port as well but there is a minimal charge of 15 dollars and so i would recommend that you decide which one is cheaper the day of the cruise see if it's cheaper to go with Lyft or Uber or one of the other ride sharing services or would it be cheaper to go with the hotel and pay the $15. I think that's a good price. 
It's only nine to 10 minutes away, so I'm not really sure until tomorrow how much Lyft or Uber will charge me to go to the cruise port. Also, I felt that the staff downstairs was friendly. They do offer, because it is Holiday Inn Express, um, they do offer a breakfast in the mornings. So I will take advantage of having breakfast in the morning before going to my cruise terminal. And so that's another plus. Around the area, there are several places that you can go and eat. And so there's McDonald's, there's Wendy's, there's other places, there's a Dollar Tree if you wanna go get a few things for yourself. So there's definitely a few things in this area that you can go shopping to or get something to eat. So let me know what you think about this hotel. So this is my review. Please do me a favor, comment, like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to be informed of future posts. And until next time, happy travels.